pictorial fins. That's called a black margate. Also called a false shark because he kind of resembles a little shark. Some of the fish, you've really got to get in the water in order to see them. The drums and different types because they hang up underneath this, those, those ledges all day long. But this is a good second best way of doing it. And this is all natural lighting below us and these viewing wells are not magnified in any way. One thing you do lose in this is in water is colors. It's a moon jellyfish going by. Moon jellyfish. Maybe we'll see a turtle. That's a favorite food of our turtles out here is those moon jellyfish. On our four o'clock trip yesterday, we saw four different turtles. Just you just never know. In fact, if you guys are ever in the ocean and you see any plastic floating in it, please remove it. Turtles confuse plastic with jellyfish and consume it and suffer horribly. We've got a turtle hospital down in Marathon is constantly trying to save turtles that have ate plastic. Stuff that looks like melted marshmallow on the seafloor, that's encrusting coral. Stuff that looks like broccoli down there, that's mustard hill coral. And I told you you can hurt these corals by touching them. Well, they can hurt you too. Let me see some real as soon as I find some. We got a coral out here called blade fire coral. It looks like brown leaf lettuce sticking straight up. It's tipped and white on the top of it. You touch that fire coral, you're going to know why it's called fire coral. I mean, it will burn you severely. It's like putting your hand open flame on a red hot stove. It'll, it'll burn you severely. The burn will last two to three weeks. When the burn finally goes away, you get a horrible rash, like the worst case of poison ivy for another couple weeks. And you touch that fire coral, you're probably going to carry a scar for life. I know a girl that jumped off her sailboat right into that fire coral about 12 years ago, and she's still carrying all the scars. There's some fire coral right there. See what's tipped in white? That's it right there. Or really, what they, they all have stinging tentacles, but that fire coral by far is the most toxic of all. That's the female stoplight pair of fish. The one looks like Indian corn down there. These corals actually spawn once a year. Anywhere from two to six days after uh, the first full moon each August. And scientists have yet to figure out how each one of these individual colonies know to release their eggs and sperm in the water at the same exact instant. But they do. Billions and billions and billions of new coral polyps are released. And they're very pretty. They're evanescent. They look like little, little chrysanthemum flowers. It is a feeding frenzy out here when that happens. But it's the ones that don't get eaten, that settle bottom, find a hard surface to attach themselves to, clone themselves together by the millions of billions. That's how new colonies established. And even though